Why can't pureed vegetables be canned? What makes you think they can't be? As far as commercially prepared products, the pumpkin that one buys to make pies is a puree of a vegetable, pumpkin. Tomato sauce is a puree of tomato, cooked down a bit with added seasonings sometimes. Refried beans may not be exactly pureed, but they are mashed up and so are rather like a puree. Creamed corn is a kind of corn puree or mashed up corn, with added ingredients. I myself have canned pureed carrots. Some vegetables are not usually eaten as a puree, like green beans or fennel or cabbage. But that doesn't mean they can't be pureed, and the puree certainly can be canned. In fact, jarred baby food is finely pureed vegetables, even the ones we don't usually eat pureed as adults. I conclude that any vegetable that can be eaten cooked can be pureed, and the puree can be canned. I would wonder who said, why can't pureed vegetables be canned? Pureed vegetables are canned all the time. In addition to the other answers listed under this question, there is a whole category of canned pureed vegetables, baby food. In order to be shelf-stable, baby food undergoes a canning process. And they are pureed vegetables to make them easier for babies to eat. Pureed vegetables include sweet potatoes, zucchini, kale, carrots, peas and the like. Now, does the general adult population like to eat the stuff? Not really. That's the real reason you don't see as many pureed canned vegetables on grocery shelves. It's not that they can't be canned, but that pureed vegetables with some exceptions are not in demand and people don't want to buy them canned. A lot of pureed vegetables are not recommended to be canned because they are too dense and the temperature doesn't get to the center of the can or jar. Pumpkin is one example. Commercially canned pumpkin is made with higher temperatures and pressures than a home canner can safely use. There are some that can be canned, but those are generally speaking less dense, like tomato sauce.